So I wanted to talk about this audio probe. Um, I put this up on the Rattlesnake Facebook page. Um, a lot of people had questions about it and curious how it worked. Um, basically, I came across uh, a couple of different designs on the internet um, and I thought I would put something together for myself and uh, this is what I come up with. Basically, we have this little box here that takes uh, an output to the amp and then we have our signal leads. We have a, a ground and um, signal lead coming off of it. So that's just like a that's like a hot hot cable to the amp. Um, on the input of the pedal, um, I have this going into a boomerang looper. Since I can't play guitar and actually do the probe, I put something really simple in the looper. That's going to feed the the pedal uh, a signal, and basically uh, the signal lead will complete the circuit and we'll hear stuff. Um, this is a, kind of a great way of testing components or to find something wrong in your pedal circuit and you can hear it uh, and you can tell something's not right by how it sounds. Um, this is a good example because this is an MXR Distortion Plus that I'm kind of working on. It's totally something, something's not right in it. Um, kind of like narrowing it down to the, um, the IC or the capacitors on here. Um, but it's great that we can step our way through it. So I'll give a quick demo of this pedal. So like I said, we got a hot, hot lead. So we can go right into the input. So now we just basically bypass the entire circuit. We're basically getting the input signal, running it right to our output into the amp. So that's how, how that's working. So we can sit there and go through. So these two caps are basically taking that input in. and pieces. So that's still sounding good here. Okay, that's sounding a little weird. Checking the IC, I can just take individual pins. Oops. And three. Okay, that doesn't sound too happy. Okay, that's kind of the description of what's wrong with this. It sounds like it's, it's farting out. You can check the diodes here. You can even go to the output. Input. So anyway, and we can just short it out. Basically, this is a, a great tool just to figure out some stuff um, on the board. It's a great way to learn too. You can actually hear like how the caps are uh, filtering out frequencies, or you know how the resistors are changing, how that uh, audio is sounding, which is kind of cool to learn. Um, so yeah, that's that. So maybe you might be interested in one of these. If so, let me know. And uh, that's it. Talk to you later.